Welcome back to Horizon 4. Today, we will be doing a rally build. Because I wanted to do some cross-country races. And I was kind of like, what should I pick? I don't know. Like, didn't find anything that I really wanted to build. That, like, I've done a Subi before. And, like, I don't really have, I can't really build an Evo. Because Mitsubishi is not in the game. And... Yeah, I didn't really want to do it like a Volkswagen, so I ended up with the Focus RS, because it's pretty much a rally car from the factory. The, even the stock 2.3s, except the head gasket issue, is pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good engine, and it has a wide body, <laughs> which it didn't before, so that just makes it even cooler. Even though the wide body is like kind of obnoxious, <laughs> it's like it's trying really hard to be a race car, <laughs> and I'm meaning really hard. <laughs> so, yeah, could have a V8 swap, but I kind of want want to check how much power this stock engine actually actually will make. Really, quite the wings you got there. It's like the tiny one, and then a little bit bigger one. Let's get a little bit bigger one. And uh, rally tires. I'm not really a good rally car builder, so max width. Um, also, since I'm kind of in the mood for a can block car, so let's do some 1552s. Um, full build. Probably gonna lose money on, the, on this car, but I don't really care. Let's have the fun of the game. Definitely gonna need beefy ass brakes. Rally suspension, anti roll bars. Chassis stiffening and weight reduction. And then just give it all the power that this thing actually can produce. Which I'm not sure it's like a lot, but go from a 2.3 to a 2.5. Let's do turbo last because that usually creates the most power. Okay, we're we're at 550. If it goes up to 650, I'll be really happy. <laughs> it goes up 35 horsepower. Like what the fuck? <laughs> really? How much do you turn the boost up? Like a pound? Really? Wow. <laughs> Put on a big old Garrett or something. Come on. Give it some actual boost. <laughs> I'm gonna. B I don't really know. Like, I'm not a good rally car builder. So, yeah. I should have painted it. Um, paint. You know what, let's do like a map black. With glossy blue rims. Like that. Yeah. Blue blue 1552s look really, really cool. Kind of disappointed with the engine, though. I know I could swap an LS3 in it. Make, like, just over a thousand horsepower. It's tempting, but...
<laughs> it slides. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Um, cross country race. Fortathon. I actually kind of want to do a Fortathon event, but I want to get some more points. That's the thing. Um, this week's car is like not really. Not really one I actually want to get. No, I don't want to do off road buggies. Blueprint. Super hot hatches. Open. Create a blueprint. Go. Yes. Could have done the Civic Type R and done on like an all wheel drive build. But that doesn't have a wide body kit, so. Then again, that car loses its appeal. Just get going. I love the way this thing sounds. It tries really hard to be a rally car, and I love it. <laughs> I'm just carry car to drive right now. A bit too big of a slide. The Hyundai is almost overtaking me. That hand is really fast. Touch the water for as little as time as possible. Because it only slows you down. That's not how you go through a gate. Come on, focus. Focus a bit. Okay. That went well. Just about. Yes. Not only 12 grand. Oh. It's kind of sad. And 3,500 experience. Like. Not really great. Not really great. Give me something good, please. And B. Okay. Not really my favorite generation, but yeah. Okay, it, it, it pulls hard <laughs> once you hit second gear. And then you're going pretty fast. Um, let's keep on doing the cross country races. <laughs> look at the look at the squad. The blue actually came out really nice. Kinda hyped on it. The old dark car is getting off the line quickly and the front dark cars are not. 
Oh, it's L climb. Cool. They actually put a barriers. They don't want us to fly off the hill apparently. I guess that would be bad for business. They're sticking to my ass pretty well. I can't really shake them. I'm not really driving well, but... That wasn't the point. Okay, I shook them there. Ain't one like the car just hits the jump, and it just goes sideways. It always screws every landing and you lose a lot of speed in time. Also can't turn. And then they caught up to me. I actually gotta push. I, I swear to god, they have V8. Because they are pulling so hard. Thank god I could break that. Left foot braking, downshift, and cross the line at first place. It's good. That's actually a pretty good reward, but it was a way longer race though, so. Where's that? Good. Good, 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 good. Right. We've cut down the field again. You're racing against only hardcore cross-country drivers now. The kind who carry their own tools and sleeping bag. <laughs> Welcome to round five of the cross-country racing series. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Um... Am I done with the stall now? Yes, I am. Because all there is the 4.30... Ah, uh, because it's Halloween. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. By the way, I'm not really a fan of Halloween, so... Could buy the Forzathon. I already have that car. I could. It cost you, like, a million bucks. Plus a few... Uh, skill points, and you'll get that car. You don't really need to buy it from the Forza uh, shop, Forza Town shop. Um, I I won't buy that car. It's not really a Ferrari I'm just interested in. But getting him five million points and a freaking Beetle doesn't interest me either. Oh, you know what? Since we're already here, let's. Let's actually, for the rest of the episode, and search for some barn finds, because I kind of want to knock them out uh, ASAP, because I don't really. I want to get them all so that.
I have just got them and I don't really need to think about it more. That's not a bar find, that's for sure. This is probably like killing my FPS. Definitely not there. Where could you be? You cheeky barn. Just kind of won't look. Sometimes like the open fields like this can actually be the hard ones. Mostly because like it's summer and there's a lot of flowers and all that kind of blocks the view. But doesn't really seem like there's anything. Found it. <laughs> Just when I said it doesn't really look like it's in the middle, but it was. Good thing we're in a rally car. No problem getting over there. How come you always find these things before me? I, I, it's not like I'm not looking. What is an that? MG? An oh. MGB GT, in fact. It's a brilliant little sports car made right here in Britain, is what I'm saying. Hmm. Whatever they were trying to do to the engine didn't go so well, did it? <laughs> nope. It did not. Um... This one, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. I'll go and put all the pieces back in and call you when it's done. But I don't really remember. I don't really remember if I saw it or when or where. Kind of seems like a good hiding spot. Found it. That was like pretty, pretty well hidden, actually. Got it. Yes. Yep, hold it right there. I'm coming. What the hell is that? In purple. Well, it looks like it's been painted. What or... is that thing? Looks like a spaceship or something. I think it's a TVR, but we'll have to get it back and put it together again. Give me a hand. Yep. Someone really loved purple. <laughs> See you down at the garage soon. Okay, let's just knock these out. There's like three more left. I think. And if I find all of them pretty quickly, I'll do it all in one episode. Might just be a bit long, but then we're done with it. We don't have to do it later.
there's so much elevation in this game. Like, Horizon 3 was so flat. I know, like, most of uh, Australia is pretty flat, but I said most, not all. <laughs> Some of you are probably pretty mad right there. Uh, Come on, where are you? Where are you? Probably doesn't help. What helps my sanity? Okay, it does not look like it's here at least. Oh, it's a house. Okay, it could technically be out here. Technically. Now we're outside the zone. There might be something here. No, this is the house. Is it? No. Actually, I don't know if that's a pur purchasable house. I don't think so. Take a sec to look. Don't think that's it. Is that it? Or is that something else? <laughs> well, that was not it. At all. Hmm. Come on. Sometimes it's like impossible for me to find it. And especially if it's like this one, in the middle of the woods, where you can't see more than 50 meters ahead of you. Without there being a hill, or trees, there all there is trees everywhere, so. What's up? Board? Can't smash them with your drone. Someone's been chopping wood. I feel like I'm going over the same place all the time. I'm just going random directions now. <laughs> but, like, it won't be, like, completely in the middle of the woods. I don't think it should be, at least. Well, you never know. Well, well, guess we'll be here for a while. Um, let's wait a sec, gotta answer something. Um,
Where am I on the map? That's a question. Weird. Um, I'm lazy, okay? I'm searching it up because I'm lazy, but I can't really find it. Um. I actually can't find it. Uh. It's not there. Not that one. actually go to the map so I can actually see where the fuck I am. Um, Lakers Forest. Okay, I might actually know where the hell it is now. I think it's hair. That took way too long. Um. Well, according to the interwebs. The barn should be around here. It should be like here. My God, is it well hidden? I hate my life. Uh, why am I asking? Be there soon. Will you have a look at that? Oh, one for me, finally. It's an Impreza 22B, an old rally gem. Only a small handful were imported into the UK, so this is a really rare find. Come on, let's get it fixed up. I'll get it back to the garage, shall I? I even keep this one for myself. Okay, that took way too long, and I'm sorry about that. Um, let's actually go ahead and get the last one because I'm like freaking mad.
This is in the railway. This one I actually think is like inside of like a... Uh, I just drove straight because I actually think I think I actually driven past this. Did one up just free roaming. Yeah. I think I actually knew I actually knew where that if one was. If you found it, I'll be there in a tick. You have? Yes. Don't you dare open it without me. Will you look at that? It's a Spitfire. Uh, not the plane, obviously. Uh, it might not look it now, but this car was a masterpiece of British design. Makes you proud. I'll get someone else to take this back. All this talk of Britain has given me wanderlust. One last one. Uh... Oh, it's this one. Wow, gotta answer a friend of mine, sorry. Um... Um... Yeah, where the heck is this one? Actually, so like uh, Flap Chain or AR12 get this one. And I think it's like on top of the hill somewhere. But I don't really remember uh, exactly where I was. So, yeah. This might actually take a while, this one, too. So. Please just be like on top of here. That would be nice. Yeah, it was. Just drive straight, essentially. And that should be all the barn finds that we currently can get. Other than uh, there's like you gotta buy one like one of the castles, and then you get like a Bentley. Found it. What did I tell you? Be right there. This is such a cool car. Whoa, check it out. Escort RS Turbo, nice. Some 17 year old boy loved this thing to death. Probably before I was even born. Let's Probably. get it back to the garage. This thing's so sick, it just sucks that it's <laughs> like a Don't lot worry. of European Fords from we'll Drive. And yeah, that's like all the barn finds. Except the one that you get after you buy the castle, or like here. Which I can't afford. I don't have 10 mil, and probably won't for a long, long time. But we got two wheel spins, so might as well do them. Okay. Usable. Usable indeed. Um. And yeah, that wasn't fun. So yeah, 
thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and uh, also be no hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload, and uh, yeah. Hit the like button if you want me to uh, save this car. Goodbye.